channel, my name is Julie, and in today's video, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette right here. This is the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Pumpkin Pie, and man, is it gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, my last video on one of these palettes did not go so well, but this one I think went great. I really highly recommend this one in particular amongst all of the different options that we have for these cool $3 palettes. So if you wanna see how I got this eyeshadow, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm gonna prime my eyelids with just concealer today. I'm just gonna let that dry down. So I'm gonna start out with this shade right here with a fluffy, floppy brush. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go in lightly using this as a uh, transition shade. So I'm gonna go in really, really lightly. You can see there's like barely anything there. We're gonna build it up, I'll zoom you in. Now that I've laid down that as a transition shade, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of a dense brush. It's still fluffy, but it's just a little stiffer. And I'm gonna build that up in the crease. Starting on the outer half, and then going all the way across. And then with no additional product, I'm gonna just go in and use the edges of this blend 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 and again another stiffer smaller brush I'm going to go in with the same color I really like this color so I'm just not ready to switch over yet and I'm gonna just put that on the outer eyelid and outer crease just to kind of build some depth on the outside of the eye. And again, diffusing the edges. Then using this much smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade, kind of on the lid, kind of on the outer crease, and just build that up slowly. And then with no additional product, I'm just gonna take any brush pretty much and blend, continue to blend without adding more of that color. And again, more of that first shade and I'm just gonna put it right in the crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with my finger. I'm gonna use this shade right here and I'll use my ring finger and I'm just, wow that's so pretty, I'm just going to pack that all over the lid. I'm going to stop short of the outside, let's see, I'm not going to go to the very corner but almost. Gorgeous. This shade is so beautiful. And just with my finger, it's so pigmented and vibrant. I love this shade. With a very light hand, I'm gonna go in along the edges and just blend that in. Next, I'm gonna go in with this other shade, the other chromey shade and I'm gonna put that in the center that's pretty that one is more gold the other was more orange oh, that's so pretty actually I really like that one I'm 
might put that all over top of the other. Once again, I'm gonna go over the edges very lightly, not blending anything away, just kind of softening the line. And now I'm gonna go in with a makeup remover wipe and I'm gonna clean up under my eyes and even on my nose <laughs> where those shimmers have gotten. And I'm gonna wrap it around my finger and then I'm gonna take it to clean up the edges on the outer edge of the eye. So I'm not gonna go all the way to the lash line. I'm just gonna put my finger right comfortably under and go up and out to create a sharper line. Okay, so now to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna go on the lower lash line using this shade right here with a flat brush. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer edge right here, like so. I'm just making it connect. So outer edge and then up into the eyeshadow, like so. I'm using me in. So that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush with this first shade. And I'm going to just blend it out. Then taking one of the brushes I used on the upper lid, I'm just gonna further diffuse the lower lash line and kind of blend everything together. Okay, so now I'm gonna give my lashes a quick curl. And I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is the waterproof one. This mascara is so pretty. I think I'm actually going to forego false lashes today. The thing that I like about waterproof mascara is that it keeps my lashes curled, which they never want to stay curled, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> And like that, this look is complete. So you could add eyelashes if you wanted to add a little bit more drama to it. But I think that this mascara did a pretty good job on its own. I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I think it's lovely. I just realized that I forgot to get the mascara that was flecked on my eyelids <laughs> off before finishing this video. But you know what? What's done is done. Anyway, I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. It's beautiful, it's everything you need for a super gorgeous look. $3, man, it's a steal. Highly recommend this eyeshadow palette, so beautiful. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe on your way out, and I hope to see you in my next one. Thanks so much for watching, bye.